Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. Um, or welcome to my channel if you've not seen any of my stuff before. Um, I like to make a lot of cool content to help you guys out with some shred stuff. So I've had some questions about uh, some different tapping stuff. I've been meaning to do this video for a while. Um, but there's a tapping technique I've done in a couple of uh, solos in the past. Um, I use this in the, the bridge section of my song Venom Love. Uh, it came out a long time ago now. Um, I haven't listened to the album in a long time, although we did uh, play a couple of the tracks from that album live uh, when we just toured in Japan. Um, so I thought it'd be cool to do a little video lesson on some uh, arpeggio tapping. Um, and different, a different tapping method than I use when I kind of sweep and then tap. This is going to be a little bit different. Um, I get a really cool video game vibe from this. Um, I got, uh, I first learned about this technique from watching uh, one of my favourite neoclassical shredders, Michael Romeo from the band Symphony X, which is one of my favourite metal bands. Well, it was great. So I took some of these ideas, and what I would do is I'd follow sort of triadic chord progressions and move them around with my left hand and mess around with tapping on extensions in, on the right hand. Now I also play this technique in my solo for uh, Chemical Prisoner. Yeah, so here's the idea. We'll start with outlining like a D minor arpeggio, right? So here we've got D, F, A. And they're essentially the three notes we're gonna be tapping on. Um, we're gonna just focus on the, the four low strings. Um, so for the beginning, we're going to go F on the A string with our first finger. You're going to hammer on with your ring finger or middle. It's up to you. I like to use my ring finger. It's less of a stretch. I've got tiny hands. Uh, I'm going to hammer on D on the low string. Go F, A on the A string. So we've got that kind of idea going on, right? That's going to sort of maintain, that's going to sort of, that idea is going to carry on throughout the, the piece, right? But check this out. Now the way I'm muting this is if you look at my left hand, you'll notice that my index finger, the top of it, is sort of muting off the low string by touching lightly uh, on that low E string. And notice when I go to hammer on the D on the low string, now my index finger is lightly just touching all of these strings here to bl block them off. And um, I do have a video, I'll put a link up here at the top. Um, called sweet picking and technique. Now the muting uh, I use for the muting technique I use for sweet picking is pretty much the same muting technique I use for essentially everything um, legato picking. So uh, you'll just see how I, you know, use both my hands in tandem to mute. So when I'm playing the low strings, my index finger is going to be muting the higher strings, and as I'm playing the higher strings with my left hand, my right hand palm is going to be blocking off the lower strings. So they're working as a team to to keep the strings muted and quiet. Um, so yeah, anyway, right. So let's carry on. So so I'm going to tap. I like to use my middle finger. Um, First finger you can use, it's totally up to you, whatever you want to do. Um, now, uh, I remember chatting to my friend Rusty Cooley, uh, sorry, just massive name drop there. Uh, Rusty Cooley is one of my heroes, an insane shredder, right? Um, but he was telling me, when you're practicing this sort of tapping stuff, you want to hold your pick with your right hand to practice holding your pick and tapping at the same time, because that way when you're playing live, you know, you don't have to throw away your pick or drop it or put it in your mouth or whatever. Um, so I do recommend doing that. However, I'm not doing it right now because I'm too lazy to figure out where... Oh, there it is. Or uh, well, whatever. Anyway, bit of advice for you. Take it or leave it. Well, here we go. So... Right, so I've just tapped onto D, right? Um, which is our root. Now I'm going to repeat F, A, D on the A string. So now we've sort of abandoned the low string. Now you're probably wondering how do I get that clean? Uh, well, just like I said, index finger blocks off the low E string here. So immediately as we go from the, D, the low E string to the A string, I, my index finger is lightly touching that low E string and blocking off that. So I recommend just going. That's pretty cool in itself. Right. Now your ring finger is going to come in and hammer on this F on the G string right here, which is 10th fret. So, so far we have. Now our pinky is going to go 12, A string, and we're going to hammer on D. So 
So we've got right. So we're going to hammer onto the F on the G string again with our ring finger. Now I'm going 10 to 14 on the G string here. Now, now my right hand is tapping on this D note, which is our root. So we're going root to root. And that's the whole pattern, right? And that pattern is going to do the same thing on every single arpeggio that moves through the chord progression. Okay, so here we're in D minor. So it sounds like this. That's the rhythm. get a different sound, I might get a chunkier video game vibe by going onto my, my uh, neck pickup, which I really love. Gives you that video game arcade machine sound, middle pickup, somewhat of a mix of the two. I do like the sound of the, the bridge pickup, personally. It's a little bit thinner, gives you more of that Bill and Ted sort of tap-in vibe. All right, now we are going to move. So I look at the that D minor as being the sixth chord. So if we're if we're in D minor, we would call it the one chord. But I personally always look at, you know, the minor chord as being the sixth. It's just a way I see things. It's just how I figure things out in my brain. Uh, so we're going to uh, D minor and we're going to move to the four chord. We are going to move to B flat major. Okay, now this B flat major in tapping form is going to look like this. Right, so all we're doing is just highlighting the triad, so B flat major. Obviously, B flat, D, F. The only note we've changed there is um, between the two, those two sets of triads is actually instead of D minor has an A in there, B flat is going to have a B flat. I'm just going to run you through it. Five on the A string, which is our D. B flat low string. D to F, which is our five to eight on the A string. Going to tap on 13 on the A string. Then we're going to go five, eight, 13 again. Ring finger is going to tap onto uh, D on the G string, which is the seventh fret. Pinky on. Back on our F on the A string. First finger moves up to the D, which is the seventh fret. D to F, seven to ten. Gonna tap on fifteen there on the uh, G string. So you got this. Right now we're just gonna take that exact same idea and move it up to F major. So we have D minor, B flat major. F major. Right, so exactly the same pattern. I'm just going to show you real quick. Then exactly the same pattern again. Uh, on to C major this time. So we're going to start with our E here on the A string. Same pattern. That is the whole piece, so all together. Also guys, if you do want the tabs for this, you can go grab them from my web store at uh, jackievincentofficial.com forward slash shop. Um, there's tabs for Star Speed Story, Life Imitating Art, a bunch of uh, stuff that I've done in the past. Um, I normally put my tabs up there. Um, guys, if you got value from this, please go hit the like button, uh, subscribe button. If you haven't already, hit the notification bell. And you'll get notified when uh, I upload new material. And um, if you want to do something for me, if you want to go to JackieVincentOfficial.com and subscribe to my mailing list, then you'll be the first to hear when I have new videos come out. Um, promo codes for my store, stuff like that. So much love guys, thank you so much. Rock on, I hope this helps. And if you wanna learn some more tapping stuff, I just released a uh, instructional video called Advanced Tapping Phrases that you can pick up at jackievincentofficial.com forward slash shop. So go check that out, there's lots of cool phrases on there for you to learn. Um, it's like a, I think it's like an hour long 
There's 10 minute backing track, lots of phrases on this piece. 